This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor, rumor. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Well, Kodak Black is appealing. He has a 46-month prison sentence, and he feels like that's too long. The judge unfairly gave him too much time. They said he shouldn't have been classified as a prior convicted felon when he got sentenced because his previous guilty pleas did not result in convictions because under those deals there would be no conviction on his record. So they believe that is a technicality that could get him out of jail early. He is slated to get out around August 14th of 2022, but they think if this appeal goes through, he could get out sometime next year. Well, every person in jail thinks they got too much time, though. And I mean, a lot of times they're correct. And, you know, a lot of people, listen, if you can appeal and you have some grounds to do that and you could get out of jail earlier, why wouldn't you, right? Now, Kodak Black also on social media posted, I was just getting started, more to say, but I guess to mute me, they got me from around that ish, SMH. It is never the pain which hurts the most. It's the mental agony caused by the injustice and the unreasonableness of it all. So that is an update of his on Twitter right now. He said, besides the BS, life is great. Oftentimes we are too scared to speak up in a world where when you were right, they tell you to be quiet in a world which doesn't recognize the value of human life and human dignity, which robs a man of his will and make him an object to be exterminated. I feel like that young man is doing a lot of reflecting. Like this jail sentence seems like it hit Kodak a little bit different. All right. Now, Hamilton, the musical is going to be in um, theaters. So I know you guys are excited to see it on the big screen and it's coming out with Disney. So uh, you all saw Hamilton, right? I definitely saw Hamilton. And no, it's supposedly going to have the original cast. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Play. I saw it when it had the original cast on Broadway. The dope. All right, David <clears throat> Schwimmer has responded to uh, some of the criticism that he got for his comments about Friends versus he wasn't mentioning Living Single, but mm -hmm. he acted like Friends was its own original thing and they should do a black version of Friends. And Erica Alexander responded, in case I didn't know, uh, she said, are you seriously telling me you've never heard of Living Single? We invented the template. You're welcome, bro. Well, no, now David Schwimmer is responding to that backlash. He said, hi, Erica. As you know, I was asked recently in an interview for The Guardian how I felt for the thousandth time about a reboot of Friends immediately following a conversation about diversity on the show and so offered up a, other possibilities for a reimagining of the show today. I didn't mean to imply Living Single hadn't existed or indeed hadn't come before Friends, which I knew it had. Please remember in an interview, quotes are often pieced together and taken out of context, and then these quotes are repurposed in other articles by other people who are trying to be provocative. So he goes on to say, if his quote was taken out of context, it's hardly in my control. So he meant no disrespect. Mm -hmm. R. Kelly's ex, Asriel Clary, you know, she's been speaking out now. And she has fully removed herself from saying that R. Kelly is innocent. She's now cooperating with investigators in his federal sex crimes case in New York, according to sources who have direct knowledge of what's happening. So she's now working with the feds. She's also putting the wheels in motion to uh, work in multimedia and advocacy now moving forward. So she is recovering what she says was a dysfunctional and abusive relationship with R. Kelly. And she wants to work with nonprofit organizations that help protect young people. So so the organization is called Team Truth, and now it's being run by her dad to educate minors and their families about types of abuse and how to escape it. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report.